Drugs, guns, and nearly a dozen members of a notorious Oceanside gang were taken off the streets this week in what police are calling Operation 1620. 10 News reporter Allison Ash with the frightening details of how three children got caught up in it. Oceanside police say their four month investigation centered around this park. It's called Balderrama Park. And among the 11 people arrested, three mothers who brought their children along to do drug deals. These are the faces of the 11 men and women arrested in Operation 1620. Among them, people with street names like Villain, Prime Time, Woody, and D Boy. The key target in Operation 1620, Georgia Roscoe, who goes by the names Stretch and Armstrong. A Roscoe lived in this house, number 1620. We knew that he was distributing to many other people. Uh, we knew that he was getting his, uh, his product from some other folks in, uh, that are up on the chart. And uh, it was going throughout Oceanside, Escondido, Vista, and uh, the Pauline Indian Reservation. Early Wednesday morning, 120 officers fanned out across those areas, hauling in documented members and associates of the Pozzoli gang. They also seized more than a pound of methamphetamine, $8,000 in drug money, and this frightening cache of weapons, including a 50 caliber handgun. The guns belong to this man, Wayne Swanson, who managed to escape to Canada. Police say their base of operations was San Diego Street near this park where children play. Sadly, tonight, three children are in protective custody, their parents in jail. We heard that there are children involved. We needed to take uh, immediate steps to go ahead and intervene with that. Police say they believe Operation 1620 made a major dent in the drug trade in this area. They say the Pozzoli gang here is now basically dysfunctional. In Oceanside, Allison Ash, 10 News.